The country's first open rock museum has been established at the CSIR National Geophysical Research Institute in Hyderabad. The museum was inaugurated by Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh on the 6th of this month. The purpose of this one-of-a-kind rock museum is to educate one and all about the interesting facets of geology and its relevance in our daily life. The Science Monitor team recently visited this unique museum to get first-hand experience. Take a look. Different kinds of rocks and stones present around us are used for the purpose of construction and also to increase the aesthetic appeal of the facades. But have you ever wondered how these stones and rocks came into existence and become a part of our life? Now, India's first open rock museum will be providing all kinds of interesting information about these natural resources present in the many layers of the earth. This rock museum, established at CSIR's National Geophysical Research Institute, Hyderabad, was recently inaugurated by Dr. Jitendra Singh, Union Minister of Science and Technology and Earth Sciences. Our team too visited the institute to explore the utility of this wonderful museum and interacted with scientists of the institute. CSAR National Geophysical Research Institute has recently opened a rock museum which has been designed in an open and fortunately been dedicated to nation by Honorable Minister of Science and Technology, Dr. Jitend Singh Ji. Here uh, we have displayed about 45 different rock types uh, as, as we see them in the field. And uh, you can see the mineralogy and also different structures and the textural relations of different minerals in these rocks here. And each rock is a resource. About 45 rocks obtained from 14 states of the country have been displayed in the open premises of the NGRI, a premier institute for geophysics and allied subjects. These mineral rocks obtained from different depths of the earth range in age from 3.3 billion years to 55 million years. The purpose of this museum is to provide students and researchers with detailed information about the rock diversity of India, its importance and utility. So in an uh, area called Mahagiri uh, in Vorissa, uh, in the Tumka Daitari based of Shingvam Kraton, we found some of the oldest materials dating back to 3950 million years. Uh, that sample is being displayed here. You can see here a dacite, which is a volcanic rock, acid volcanic rock, which is of 3,560 million years, which is one of the oldest uh, acid volcanic rock found on the Indian subcontinent. So, and also the next to this, there is a uh, granitic gneiss from Gorur, from Karnataka, which is about 3,300 million years. This is a sample. Uh, called stromatolite, which is, uh, which is from the Jaladurgam village from Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. You can see here uh, there are a lot of columnar uh, growths uh, of colonies of these early bacteria, the early formation of the earth uh, into colonies and you can see the layering uh, growing up uh, in the sequence and you can see the, the, the rock, it is called stromatolite. And similarly over a period of time life evolved and uh, more uh, into more complex forms. Here there is a uh, rock called fossiliferous limestone in which you can see a lot of brachiopods, small shells got struck in limestone matrix and which became consolidated. This was around uh, uh, around about 120 million years old, Cretaceous, uh, from Cretaceous age from the Tirchinopalli from Tamil Nadu. And this is a petrified wood from uh, Kamam of Andhra Pradesh where each uh, component, each cell is replaced by silica and now it turned out to a, a, a stony wood kind of structure. Rocks are formed over different periods of time due to the mineral deposits present in the earth. The rocks displaying different forms and sourced from different places play a key role in the economy of India as they are harnessed to obtain a variety of minerals, metals and even precious stones. 
samples of different kinds of rocks present in this museum expand one's knowledge about their various uses. This is a rock called Bandaran formation which works as a proxy for such, uh, uh, for, for such a growth of life and which you can see here um, uh, there is layers of quartz rich and iron rich layers here and there is a hematite ore which is a uh, which is a ore for iron so here uh, these rocks they come from very deep in the mantle out about 175 to 200 plus kilometers depth and which are explosive volcanic rocks you can see here large chunks of uh, material that is struck in this in this kimberlite and these come from very great depths. These are the best suitable uh, rocks that, that will help us to understand what is happening in the deep in the earth uh, at hundreds of kilometers depth. So these also bring diamonds to the surface of the earth. Geology is a subject that can be best understood or best learned in the field. So rock is an aggregate of minerals and uh, the tex inter internal structures and uh, textural relations between different minerals. They give us a lot more information on the processes that underwent in their formation. Apart from the Open Rock Museum, NGRI also has an exhibition on minerals. This exhibition showcases different minerals discovered so far and throws light on their formation and utility in our lives. At CSAR National Geophysical Research Institute, we use different geophysical methods in which we either use the artificial or natural sources and based on the physics model interpret the physical properties of the rocks at depth. It's more important that how the large number of students can take part in the development of their career towards earth sciences, which is going to be a science for the sustainability of the human kind. Human civilization has grown exponentially, utilizing the invaluable resources present in the rocks. Therefore, these rocks are tied closely to human development. It is important that young students understand the importance of this asset and join the field to make its use sustainable. The Rock Museum is a successful attempt to attract and inspire the younger generation towards this exploration. And the Government of India plans to build 75 such museums across the country.